everybody this is cd readings and hi cancer let's see what messages will come up for you cancer in case this reading resonates there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking feeling about you their next moves outcome of life love notes guidance from spirit and your future love so do check it out it'll be linked underneath the video for you. all right let's see what do we have for cancer i will also be picking out bonus messages so check it out it'll be linked below so we have the card worry and patience Pisces got similar energies. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces or you have that in your chart. And then we have guilt. So a lot of you need to release the blocked emotions that you have. It could be guilt, shame, um, worry, you know, worrying about things way too much. Okay. Being patient with things. So this is almost like a whirlwind of emotions. Cancer whirlwind of emotions let's see tell me more for cancer please Conclusions are within reach and it's time to release negativity. So something is closer than you think it is. I feel like something you're getting confused about. The situation is clear, but I feel like it's, you know, your own emotions that are fogging things up for you. It's time to release negativity. It's time to let go of something. Okay. Let's see what Tarot has. Oh, man. We have the Nine of Cups wanting, wanting to come out. So I feel like a lot of you are in this energy of solitude. Like you're very focused on yourself. Let me actually move it a little bit. You're very focused on yourself. You're not that hot and bothered about what's going on around you. There's an energy of... I'm getting the Hermit vibes from this, okay? So a lot of you are spending time by yourself. Um, you're focusing on your work, your money, your goals. And I think it's it's a sense of comfort as well that you have found there. And what you do, like work-wise, okay? for cancer page of wands reverse i see a lot of focus on your money your goals even a project that you're working on i feel like a lot of you have spent time in solitude that has also changed things for you drastically, Cancer. I also see you taking a break from work, which is beautiful because over here you're working too much and over here I see you taking a break. You might take a break from things to just get out of your own head and I also feel like there's something you will decide to leave behind just because of the emotional stress that came from the situation. Some of you feel like there's a situation that's very one-sided and you do not want to indulge in, in that anymore. Wow, okay. Now, one thing you don't realize is that... Let me actually get you one more. 
is that whoever this person is, I'm going to tell you about this person in a bit, but your overall energy is the Ace of Cups to the Tower Reverse. So there is new love that's coming your way. There's a new beginning. But there is also a need for you to be patient. To be patient about it and to be patient to move towards it. Um, yeah, let's actually clarify things. Okay, tell me more for Cancer. I feel like something that used to bother you or something that you used to think about day and night. You won't be thinking about it day and night no more. What is the nine, nine of cups? Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning, a new start. A lot of these cards in your reading are suggesting a new beginning or a new start. Okay. Actually, let me see. Yeah, like a new beginning of some sort, a new start, a new opportunity. Some of you will also be exploring a new project or a new business venture or like a change in your job. Some new opportunity might come along very unexpectedly as well because over here you do have prosperity card, okay? So there is a there is a new opportunity waiting for you and that will unfold for you. There's something very mysterious about it as well, honestly. So with the guilt and the worry energy that you have overall, it almost looks like you don't you don't expect for things to go this way. One thing you need to be careful of is your expenses, what you're making and where you're spending it. Some of you have been also worried about your money as you're your business. King of, uh, sorry, the Queen of Cups. Wait a second, your challenge here is to open up to love. Because I feel like there's no like drive here to open up to it. You're having a hard time trusting somebody or opening up to something because there there might be a con that's something I wanted to tell you about this person. Like there is a conversation or there's like somebody I see you talking to. But you have a hard time opening up to it because you don't know where this person's coming from. I'm going to tell you where they're coming from in a bit. But Page of Wands Reverse and the Queen of Cups is like having a hard time opening up to somebody emotionally. Even though you want to, you won't. Which is fine. Sometimes we just don't want to show our vulnerable side. But it's like page of wands reverse is like an energy of not even wanting to explore something even though you want to so when that goes by then don't have regrets because that is when we have regrets you know when we want to do something and we suppress it and then that opportunity is gone and then we're like damn i really wanted to do it but i didn't do it at that time and now it's too late that is what's what's your challenge I've picked up on this energy after a long while, like, you know, that kind of an energy. What is the Three of Pentacles? King of Pentacles, you're working on something. You're working on your goals. You're working on your ambition. And it's it's almost like, you know, a lot for some of you, you could be partnering up with somebody as well. Like, I don't know what this is, but I see you working. What is the Eight of Pentacles reverse? The strength. I also feel like some of you will walk away from something that you will realize that what's the point of me trying to fix it when this doesn't need any fixing. So moving towards the future, I also see you cutting the situation out. Okay, 
What is the Eight of Swords reverse? I also see you getting out of your own head, which is really, really good. A lot of you will realize or are in this process of realizing that, you know what, for me to feel good about myself, there is a lot that I need to release to need to let go. So that energy of guilt and worry slowly but surely, you will make up your mind to let it go to release things. Because with the Empress energy, there is a sense of you realizing your worth, but there's also a sense of growth. Like some of you will get tired. You know, it's one of those energies when we get tired of being stuck in an energy. And then we are like, okay, I've made up my mind that I'm going to come out of it. So that is what is happening here, especially with this um, Empress energy. What is the death card about? Page of Pentacles. A lot of you are headed towards a transformation. This has a lot to do with a new with a new path or something new that you're going to be doing. And I feel like it is your soul's calling actually to let go of something. It's like a transformation or a change. What is the Six of Pentacles reverse? The chariot. There you are. I feel like um, Cancer, you know what? You're going to be in this energy. Like as your reading is progressing, I can see that you will be in this energy. And this is beautiful because it's like you're coming from a place of worry and guilt towards, okay, I'm going to just like let it all go, break free and go do what I want to do. So there is a lot of determination to make something happen. There is a sense of direction that you have, that passion that you have, okay? And I also feel like a lot of you will be narrowing down your choices or narrowing down things that you are dealing with in your life, whether that be people, relationships, even work obligations, which is good. I also see traveling for some of your movement. Now, the person that you're dealing with, the thing is that whoever this is, I feel like you're interested in them. Okay, but the thing is that this is somebody who doesn't really open up much. Um, and the reason for that could be their past hurt, betrayal, something that they went through. This is somebody who has control issues or just somebody who doesn't want to show their e emotional side to everybody. But this is somebody who is very family oriented or this is somebody who actually wants to build something with you with the Ten of Pentacles. This person could be also big on their finances, their goals. But look at what they show you, the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. It's like they don't really even reveal this side to themselves. And that is something I picked up on energetically that this is a secretive person, Cancer. Like you have no idea what's going on beneath the surface because just because they don't express it. So with this person, don't go by what they're showing you because I feel like this person, if you were to talk to them, and this is somebody who can be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Like this is somebody who maybe communicates with you but doesn't open up and you might perceive them to be like somebody who's not interested but that's not the case this person takes time to open up okay and this is seeming like a fairly new person who is this person the six of cups just when i say a fairly new person the six of cups wow okay and the ace of cups beautiful 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 and then the ace of cups there too so this is the same person you're going to have a new beginning with. Because you have... I just realized these Ace of Cups in both of these decks are so beautiful, right? So beautiful. So... <clears throat> I don't know if this is somebody you know or you don't. Honestly, I know I said that this is somebody you don't know, but now I'm getting a hint that you probably know them from before because of the Six of Cups that came out. So whoever this is, I don't know. I cannot really put my finger at, you know, <laughs> what this is. 80% it's, it's a person you know of and things couldn't grow with them in the past, but I feel like this is somebody... You've had a good time with them every time you spoke to them or every time you met them, even for some of you. But you've had a good time with this person. This is not a toxic person. This is somebody else. 
So this could be a past lover or a friend even. Like, you know, when we friend zone people and all that. So this could be that as well. And this is the person who wants to have a new beginning with you. But with the hangman, I don't feel like you see it going anywhere. So I feel like you're hesitating to open up to it with the emperor. For a lot of you, your focus is on yourself with the emperor and the empress together in a reading. We have a couple here. So that also represents growth. Wow. And a power couple, of course. Okay, so your advice here is to be very patient, which is the same as the patient energy. High Priestess, um, Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Ten of Cups. So this has a lot to do with what's unfolding for you in its own divine timing. A lot of you, I feel like you're manifesting a relationship, something legal is also getting settled here. But I feel like there might be uh, times where you will feel alone and, you know, you will feel like, oh, things are not going for me the way I want. But Spirit is telling you to be patient and Spirit is telling you to surrender to the divine and invest your time, money and your energy wisely. Because all this bottom row here is talking about changes and a lot of unexpected stuff. You have Ace of Cups twice in the reading, by the way, which represents new beginnings. Now, Cancer, I will link uh, your extended about your person underneath the video. If you want to know how are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked underneath the video as well as I will pick out bonus messages like something that didn't come up here. OK, in the reading and advice from spirit, like I said. Yeah, the love call. Someone expresses love thinking of you and letting you know. <clears throat> Give me messages for cancer. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset and manifest exactly what you want. And there's a love call here. And bottom of the deck is talking energy and the phoenix. With date. With passion. And lightning. And heart with a key. And wedding rings. I mean, hello. Look at all these energies. I feel like Cancer, a lot of you are manifesting love very unexpectedly. Interested, conversing more, awaited text message or call arrives. There is somebody I see you communicating with. Now let's read for you. Let's actually read for you guilt and patience. Let's read for you, patience. You need to learn that there is a rhythm to everything in the universe. And the more you're living with patience, the more aware you are of the lessons your soul is studying. You are on a path. There are signposts. If you're speeding down the path, you will miss the little miracles and treasures that have been placed there. Um, let's read for you, worry and guilt. Guilt. Guilt can help us grow when we realize that our actions have been hurtful to others and that we need to make amends. After we do so, though, it's time to learn from that behavior and move on. The problem arises when we hold on to the guilty feeling that serves no purpose other than promoting self-destructiveness and low self-esteem. No one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Guilt is not always rational, but if you examine it subjectively, act on it and release it, it becomes a temporary emotion. Not Sorry, long-held guilty feelings are never good and will create a roadblock to self-love and happiness. You must, you must scan your current emotions for any guilty feelings and bring them to the surface for analysis. Healthy guilt is a warning that action should be taken. Irrational guilt needs to be released. Let's read for you, worry. Worry is a wasted emotion. It does nothing other than give you the illusion of control. When you, when you expend too much energy worrying, it limits you and has an adverse effect on the natural energy of the soul. Worrying destroys the hope, faith, and excitement that are wonderful elements of the schoolroom called Earth. Remember that you are what you think and that you have the power to create positive thoughts 
which bring positive outcomes. Worry is a negative emotion and sets you up for a negative result. What unnecessary worries are carrying are you carrying around with you? Examine them objectively in the light of love. Help your soul by releasing them and be fully connected to the current moment, which is where your power resides. So that's it, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. Those were the messages that came up for you. I hope that you were open to receive these messages and I hope that you got something out of the reading. Your extended will be linked underneath the video if you want to know more about the person you're connecting with and what's going to happen next as well as advice from spirit. So do check it out. It will be linked underneath the video for you guys. Take care, Cancer, and bye-bye.